Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I am in my backyard and we're gonna be putting up a clothesline today. I've been wanting one for a while to cut down on electricity usage with our dryer. I love the way the clothes smell when they come off the line. They're a little rough and scratchy, but that's whatever. So we are going to get started. So we usually participate in no mow May. So our backyard is definitely overgrown. There's grass, dandelions. But in order to put our clothesline up, we need to mow where it's going to go. So that way we can get to it no problem. And so we can dig the holes and put it in. So we mowed a nice wide strip through the backyard. So that way we have somewhere to put our clothesline. And now I'm just gonna start raking it and putting it in this wheelbarrow. And we will use it in our compost pile. the grass raked up it's looking pretty good what kind of looks like a hay field out here we actually didn't mow back here last year that is a really huge horse trailer that is not road safe anymore but you could fit nine horses in there but last year we didn't mow back here at all we let it be wild we didn't mow last year because gas was really, really expensive and I decided that I didn't want to waste my money mowing my grass. So we just let it grow, be wild. It was really nice. We had lots of weed flowers back here, dandelions, nettle, mullein, different stuff. Um, the wildlife really liked it. I liked it too, but this year we're going to mow some. We want it for our compost piles. And I want to be able to get back here to the clothesline without having to walk through a jungle. While I was raking the grass, I found this huge, huge anthill. That is probably because we didn't mow the grass at all last year. So that's why that's there now. It is the next day and we are going to start our clothesline project. Actually, I should say pick back up on our clothesline project. We got a lot done yesterday. We did start pretty late in the evening, so we didn't get it all done. We still had animals to take care of, ducks to bring in, plants to bring in, and dinner to make. So hopefully we get it done today because I really need to do some laundry and I don't want to use my dryer. This is some stuff that we got from the store. We got clothesline, fencing staples, and clothespins. None of the items that we got for this were brand specific. We went to the store and said, hey, where's this? And they showed us and we just grabbed something off the shelf. The lumber we have, we did have it laying around. We had to cut some to size. And we think we had some staples laying around but we weren't really sure where they were and what condition they were, were were in. So we decided to just buy a new batch of them. We will use them and need them for other projects. And I didn't want to have to go back to the store if we couldn't find the ones that we already had. Here is where I ended up dumping all of the grass that I raked up. This is not really a compost pile yet. We are going to design something different for our compost. So I just piled it up here so we can get to it later and it wasn't in my way. Look at all the beautiful dandelions. We have one of our posts over here, some post hole diggers and another post over there. We're thinking about doing 30 feet. So of course, nothing ever goes according to plan. We're gonna have to do a little bit more work than we thought to do the clothesline. We need to move a car. So our clothesline is gonna be in through this part where it's mowed. 
and that car over there needs to come out before we put posts in a permanent structure. So it's just easier to move it now. We put the car on this tin so that way the tires aren't sitting in dirt. Hopefully they don't sink too much and grass can't grow up through it. We don't have a garage or anything to keep it in or it would be in there for sure. This is a 1985 Mazda RX. Cutting down to that end. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. We are working on digging our holes. We want them to be two feet deep. Level. We're going to make sure our post is nice and straight and I think he went to go find a shovel to put the dirt in back in the hole. We're not using concrete or anything, we're just a deep hole. Boy, that's so close right there. It's still quite high, isn't it? Okay. Um, start kicking some mud in the holes. Start in the back. No. Just use your boot and push some of that mud into that hole. In the back. Alright, now tap them down in there with the shovel handle. Turn your blade around and work there. Yep, just like that.
So we got one side up and it is pretty tall. We did talk about this. I wanted it a little bit shorter. He said I was crazy and I didn't know what I was talking about, but I did. It's too tall. So we have our clothesline up. Got the pull, well, not the clothesline. We have our clothesline posts up. Got both of them up. Cannot wait to get clothes out here. We used fencing stables and we're just gonna, stables. We used fencing staples and we're just gonna tie the line on it and pull it tight to the other side. We have our clothesline all done. Now we're gonna be able to hang out our clothes out here to dry, not spend money on electricity. We just gotta get our mess cleaned up and we will be all done. So we got our clothesline done. This is gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys put up a clothesline and reduce your energy bill and reduce the amount of electricity that you have to use every month. We hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a great day.